Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. I clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for November 29th through December 13th. First, go look, take a look at the Atmospheric River event going on. Um, we have kind of like a weaker Atmospheric River event going on, sending moisture into the center of California and into the Great Basin. And we have this big mess over here, too, to contend with. We'll take a look at the latest uh, satellite image you can see this rainfall about to move into um, parts of um, California Central California this is the heaviest rain here so that'll be moving in a little bit so um, we're going to get to the forecast we have other issues now um, coming with the Thanksgiving um, uh, travel getting underway now so uh, we're going to first look we're going to talk about both kind of blended in together so we're going to look at the period for um, well, all right, we're going to start because it starts after uh, Thanksgiving. We're going to start with uh, Thanksgiving. So we're going to go here to later on tonight. You can see um, it looks pretty calm here across the country, except for here in parts of the Northwest. But then we'll go into uh, later tomorrow. Now, um, wait a minute, we'll back it up a little bit. We have the system in the Southern Plains that we're moving in here. This will cause rain across this area here. You can see across the... Uh, Tennessee, Ohio Valley, and then snow across Pennsylvania back in to the Midwest. And that will be early on Thanksgiving. And then we go to later in the day, it begins to move out. So that's the European and uh, the GFS that remains weak. We look at the European. Um, see the system is here. Notice where the 540 line is, cold enough for snow. This blue line, you see 540. And then uh, we go later into the period. Now it lifts north, so it's a little bit warmer. It's further inland, so these areas all here will have um, snow, and then there'll be rain further to the south. And then it moves out, and it's a little stronger, so it remains the same. And we'll look at the European ensembles. Brings precipitation into the northeast and mid-Atlantic. So that is the story there. Um... Okay, so now we're going to get back uh, to the forecast here. We're going to look at the pattern. This is for uh, December 29th to the 3rd. And what we see here, we have a ridge building into the west, trough, deep trough. Look where this flow comes from. Way down here into the east central U.S. This will bring Arctic air into this region. We'll have the coldest air of the season so far, and it's early. All right. So um, this caused below normal temperatures from the plains to the east coast. The west will continue to experience near normal temperatures with some rainfall at times. All right. We're going to look at the period for December 4th to the 8th. Still remains the same. We have a ridge here in the west, troughing here, deep trough here into the eastern states. So the miles are good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am calling for above normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for anomalies to be near six degrees above normal or more. Below normal temperatures here with anomalies of 10 degrees or a little bit more above normal. For precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here. And from the Mississippi Valley to the East Coast. And the probability of occurrence is near 35%. We're going to look now at the flow uh, for the pattern for uh, December 9th to the 13th. Still looking at our overall flow, we have a ridge or above normal heights across all of uh, Western North America. And we have a trough area extending from Greenland down into the eastern states. So it remains staying. It's stable for now, so you notice the forecasts are shorter because of this. So uh, for this forecast period, I am calling for little change in temperature anomalies from the previous period. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. And for this region, and the probability of occurrence is near 40% across this area here, 35% here. And calling for below normal precipitation for this region here, probability of occurrence is near 35%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion 
for November 29th through December 13th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather, and have a good day.